Greetings traveler and welcome to another one of my speed builds. For today our travels bring us to Chestnut Ridge and we're building a modern rental home on a rock. And something that I do love a lot in architecture are very modern homes that are built into existing ruins. That's something that I really enjoy and something that I've done on this channel before I'm gonna link the video for you it's called Phoenix Harbor so uh, basically this uh, style of houses is a glass box that's built into some uh, very old and broken down ruins and the ruins are typically just some re remnants of very old walls of some old building or castle or whatever. So basically when I first got the horse wrench pack and was looking at the items, especially the debug items, I was thinking what I could build with this pack, what what future builds can I plan with it, and this was one of those builds because as, as soon as I saw these ruins, these walls that you're seeing right now, I thought about doing this type of build with them. And then I also saw the rocks and they're pretty interesting because some of them have this very flat surface. So I thought they'd be a really great base for a house. So I also combined that idea with the other idea and came up with this. This uh, video is a little different from my usual builds but I hope you enjoy it because I do like uh, building like super modern builds every once in a while just to, uh, I don't know, refresh my creativity in a way. And since this is quite a short video, I guess most of it is going to be a voiceover, if not the whole thing. So let's get into this. The exterior of this house was a pretty straightforward and simple and quick process. It didn't take me that long at all. Even you're, you're going to notice in this video that it's quite a, a short segment. So um, it was basically just uh, figuring out how to place the rocks correctly and uh, the landscaping is pretty much non-existent. I just placed a few like desert plants and a dead tree I think in front of the house and that's pretty much it. Also uh, don't worry about you know, the stairs not being functional or your sim not being able to go inside the house because I did play test it and you can see my sim is standing in front of the door. This is when I basically play tested the stairs and uh, that's basically because the these rocks are placed on the ground floor and the house is placed on a second floor. So. Yeah, the, the rocks won't get in the way. And I love how the color of the house just matches the rocks perfectly. I also do take this color palette into the interior. So the interior is, uh, I guess, monochromatic. I only use these shades of orange, I guess, or brown. I don't know uh, if it's orange or brown, but yeah. And there are a lot of different activities on the outside as well, like here on the balcony and on the roof. Um, you're gonna see in the end in the outro that I included a few clips of these two sims that are like supposedly spending their honeymoon here or their wedding anniversary, you know, something like that. They look like they're having quite a lot of fun. I mean, this is just the perfect vacation destination. There are just so many things to do. They can, of course, relax anywhere they want. They can have some barbecue. And 
On the top of this, they can throw a party if they want to. There is like a huge bar area and uh, there is a yoga mat for doing yoga. Wow, I'm, I'm such a genius, you don't need to tell me. And um, on the final floor, which is the pool, there is uh, a fire pit and the pool, of course. And there is also this small back balcony that's behind the kitchen and it's kind of closed off. You probably saw, uh, you saw me build it. And uh, basically what I do is, I didn't show this in, in the video, but I, uh, I replaced the, the floor of the pool with this glass floor, uh, you know, the one that came with Island Living. I just use it all over the floor, so it, it looks like the pool is like entirely made of glass and it's built into, into this rock. And it, it looks so cool. I mean, if you're swimming, you can just see the balcony underneath you. And if you're sitting on the balcony, you can also look above and just see the pool, I guess. Not to mention that it creates this beautiful lighting effect because, you know, the, the light is passing through the water. So it, it kind of seems like you're underwater in a way if you're on that balcony. So now we're in the interior and I thought I'd do a fun idea with these sectional sofas from Shop the Look and I basically chose different shades of orange and yellow and brown and combined them all together and I, I really like this. I did something similar to this before in one of my builds which is I think 01 um, Birch Byway, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna link it for you. But I also used a similar idea. And for this video, I went for this style of editing because it's a short one, so I thought, like, why not? And if you remember in one of my previous video, my first horse ranch build, where I first used this type of editing, I ask you guys if you are happy with it and if you want me to continue using it in the future and a lot of people were saying yes. So uh, the thing is that it's a little more time consuming than my usual, you know, style of editing. So uh, I, I will use it, just not in every single video of mine. I know I'm lazy, what can I say, but uh, I, I will be using it every now and then, like especially in the smaller build. By the way, I don't like monochromatic builds, I just find them boring and lifeless and lacking. It's just like, why would you go with just one color in your interior when you can choose all different kinds of colors, I guess. But I guess the only exception that I would enjoy of a monochromatic interior is an all black interior because black is my favorite color and I never get tired of it so uh, I actually do like uh, interiors that are completely black even though they do make your space so much darker and it's really hard to have your uh, light just reflecting and bouncing off the walls but it still is pretty. And uh, this is the back balcony that I was mentioning earlier. There 
It's just like a outdoor dining area and、um, this jacuzzi. And、uh, that's it. Also, I、uh, used the.、Um, what was it called? That kit, the one that was free for a while. Oh my god. Yeah,、uh, Desert Lux. I used it a lot because it's just absolutely perfect with this style of, of build. So、uh, I hope that you guys have it because、uh, I, you know, most of the build is from that kit. So if you don't have it, you're gonna be missing most of it. But I think like, everyone should, should have it because it was free for a while, unless you're pretty new to The Sims and you just got it. Uh, got the Sims after it,、uh, you know, the base game became free and everything. And speaking of kits, I'm really sick and tired of all the kits that we have right now. Like, we, we just got two new kits the other day, and I have nothing against kits in general, it's just the amount of kits that we're getting is, is unreasonable. Like, I don't know, I want stuff packs back, I want more game packs, and less kits. Because I don't know, it's just not convenient to have so many mini sets in your game instead of having, like, you know, one medium sized set or、um, big set, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm just gonna end my voice over here because we're almost at the end of the video. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's a lot different from my usual content. And I hope to see you again in my next video, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. You're gonna see that later, hopefully, in the next few days. And special thanks to my patrons. You guys are the best. You're gonna find the tray files and the CC links on my Patreon for free. And if you want to support me, then I would really appreciate it. And love you guys. Bye. Thank、you